Hi Kat Hudson here, welcome to Kat Hudson TV. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can exploit top of the news media events to get more exposure for your business and I'm also going to show you an example of how companies are currently exploiting what has happened with GoDaddy and Bob Parsons shooting that big elephant to draw more attention and business to their companies. So if you've been online over the last few days you may have seen a video of Bob Parsons, the CEO of GoDaddy shooting an elephant. Now it could go either way here because most people are pretty upset about it and are saying they want to leave the company and take their business elsewhere. Whilst Bob Parsons has said in the video that if he you know he was shooting this elephant because they're classified as problem elephants and if the elephant wasn't destroyed then the family stood to starve had their crops have been destroyed. So either way, it's 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 massive, okay? There's a massive argument here and a lot of people are really upset about it. Whether people will actually go to the effort to move all of their domains and their hosting away from GoDaddy, and I'm not big on GoDaddy hosting anyway, I personally love hostwithhostmonster.com for hosting. Fantastic company and they don't shoot elephants. But on a serious note, if people are prepared to pay the money and move companies, then this could be a very negative publicity stunt for Bob Parsons. And obviously it was an intentional move. This guy wouldn't just let the world see such a negative event, or what we most of us perceive as a negative event, if he didn't want the exposure. So good or bad, people are talking about GoDaddy right now all over the globe, and I'm sure that is what Bob Parsons' intention was. On the opposite end of the scale, we have a company called Namecheap. Very, very, very smart. Now Namecheap is a domain company and I have quite a few domains with those guys and basically I just got an email in my inbox saying we, we want to save the elephants and they're appalled with Bob Parsons and all the rest of it. So they've basically taken this negative exposure that GoDaddy's got, twisted around to totally you know, build their business and get more exposure. So basically what they're doing is offering consumers the a discounted rate to take their domains away from GoDaddy and bring them over to Namecheap. And they're even using a really cool domain name which says they're going to save the elephants. So it's pretty clever, right? They're basically trying to get a, com a customer away from GoDaddy and over it to them. And obviously they're going to lose money out of the $4.99 domain transfer, which is what they're saying. They're saying they're going to lose money. Whether they're losing money or not, who knows? But the lifetime value of that customer, by getting them over into their domains and then trying to upsell them into hosting, they're going to make more money. Because obviously the buck doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop with the domain name. They're going to try and sell them other things, whether that be privacy, um, SSL certificates, all the different bits and pieces you can get from a hosting company. So I just thought this was really smart. In essence, I have made this video and... I know that most of the people on my list are interested in marketing. Well, you know, not even on my list. In my networks and friendships, a lot of them are business owners and you're probably watching this because you're a business owner and you're interested in what today's video was all about. So I have used the keywords, I've used this story, this headline to capture your attention so that you would watch my marketing video today. And this is how we can do it. We can use these headlines and you know nat natural disasters, massive things that are going on, hot topics in the news to get more exposure for your business. Obviously your video or your content has to be relevant to the topic like mine was. You can't just go and use a random title for your video release or, or your blog article and then have the content be nothing about the title. But it is a really great way to you, you can basically be smart and cash in on these events as they're happening. Now, a classic example of this was the swine flu. I know a guy who put a product out on the swine flu and absolutely killed the pig, <laughs> so to speak, for the next couple of weeks selling a swine flu product. And in hindsight, I probably should have put one out on um, things to do with earthquakes a couple of weeks ago, you know, what to stock up in case of an earthquake. And I'm sure if it was marketed to those areas who are prone to earthquakes, I'm sure you could have got some really good sales. And there were probably people that did it. Smart people who are in the forefront and are really quick off their feet. 
So I hope you got some great tips out of this video and you've seen how you can absolutely take a crazy event or something that's massive in the media or even something that may be unfortunate for people and, you know, use it to your advantage. Now, this doesn't have to be perceived negatively at all. If you're providing value or you're helping in some way, you know, why Why not? Why not draw attention to yourself and why not get extra exposure from something crazy that's happening out there, which is happening anyway. Anyway, so that's all from me tonight. I guess this whole thing with Bob Parsons has really put a whole new take on eating the elephant one bite at a time. And it's bad, it's bad, as bad as the swine flu joke. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to stay connected to me and get some more of my marketing tips and advice, make sure you go to facebook.com forward slash Kat Hudson and connect with me over there. Thanks again for watching and we'll be stopping in with another video real soon. Bye.